So I probably can't film with this camera for very long, but look at this. It is snowing right now. I'm in Australia, heading up to a pass about a thousand meters high, and it's snowing. Excuse my language. Look at this. I got snow everywhere. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's cold. Excuse me, I shouldn't be saying all these lovely words. Look at that. And then look at this. Yeah, baby. This is a story of my bicycle ride across Australia. From Sydney to Perth, that was the idea, and it became reality. It took me about 60 days. I did 4,800 kilometers of riding, and as I was doing the trip, I wanted to create an awareness for World Bicycle Relief, which is a charity which donate bicycles to kids in Africa and other developing countries. I'm really grateful for everyone's support who helped me along the way. It was an, it's just an amazing experience, and I've split this series into an episode one, two, three, and four. So this is episode one. I really hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned for the next episodes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just arrived in Sydney at the airport. You see the flag over there. And I'm just, uh, I think I'm gonna walk. I'll see how it goes. It might take me a really long time to walk to uh, Tom's place. Tom is a guy who um, is a son of a friend of my parents and I suppose myself as well. Um, I met Andrea, who is Tom's mum, in Portugal and spent some time there. So yeah, it'd be fun to catch up and see Tom because I only met him once. So welcome to the Australian Sydney suburbs. It's an old friend who I haven't seen in like, I don't know, uh, since Portugal about five years ago. Um, he's a friend of a friend basically. Uh, really cool guy. He's had some really interesting stories to tell about Cambodia and being in prison, which is insane. And I'm in Sydney, so I'm getting the bike today, hopefully. And I'll keep you posted. So guys, I just picked up the bike. I'll just give you a quick brief view of it. Huge thanks to Richie for uh, helping me out get the bike. It's really awesome. Helped set it up for me. And I think the other guy's name is Tom. Just Reed Cycles down, down there. This is the Reed Cycles in uh, Sydney. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, I'm currently um, in Sydney. And the Harbour Bridge is just over here. So here we are at a pub, just underneath our Harbour Bay Bridge, which is over there. It's really, really right there. And the Sydney Opera House is over the trees there. There's the bike. I'm just, it's a transition day today, so we're, I'm just waiting. I'm currently outside of uh, Bell Rose, which is a bicycle shop uh, in French Forest. And the owner by the name of Adrian has just gave me some of these spare spokes from my trip and also a spare chain, um, donating, it, donating it sort of for the trip, which is really awesome. If you're ever in the area, check out their stuff. They've actually got some pretty decent stuff. I just bought off this uh, top tube bag, which I really need to carry extra stuff. Right, here we are with Terry. Or you want to say your actual name? Terry's one. Oh, Terry, Terry. You see, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not Finnish. I don't have a... I was gonna say amazing tongue, but that sounds pretty strange. Where are we? Long Reef. Long Reef. This is like a little peninsula. It's really beautiful. And how far does Sydney go up here? All the way to Palm Beach, so I think it's the last cliff up the, right up the end there. Really? That last one over there? I think so. Uh, Whoa! Ages. So it might be, I might be behind this last one here, but it's, it's another 20. I'm starting to realize how beautiful this coastline is. Are you okay with being filmed on camera? 
This is a simple yes and no answer. Come on. Just a simple will suffice. Ow! That's my nail! <laughs> She's very playful, aren't you? Hey, my five. You're just gonna bite me. Hey. Currently staying with the Allison's place, which is a friend of ours, a friend of Rosemary's, who's a friend of my parents. It's complicated, isn't it? Hey. This is my GoPro. Hi. Eh? You don't mind being filmed, do you? No. No. Because I might put you in a film of some sort on YouTube. Yeah, no problem. So this is JF, guys. Hey. Um, and Allison's inside, and these are the guys who hosted me. And we're at French's Forest. That's a very correct. nice area. And uh, ready to set off. It's currently not raining, which is good. And uh, I'll be joining the other cyclists, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah. I'm trying to get through Sydney now. The gears are a bit, a bit annoying. And I need, a, I need a higher stem. Going good so far, 60k to go. The traffic in Sydney is ridiculous. It's just like Los Angeles. It's like Atlanta. It's like any big US city, which is such a shame. It's a full on car culture here. On the bright side, this uh, there is a cycle path which kind of gets you from one side of the town to the other reasonably okay. So hey guys, it's currently raining a lot and I'm in the bush, the outbackish jungle thing. I have no idea how, what to call this. I've got about 20 kilometers to go and it's about one o'clock. The sun sets in about four hours so I gotta get moving. I'm only moving about 7k right now in this mud. And I turn off, I think, in... You know what? I don't know. Don't care. It's so beautiful. season at the moment. It's been raining on the coast, on the east coast of Australia quite a lot. There's the thunder. Oh, it sounds beautiful. I'm glad to be in a forest though when there's thunder like that because last time when I was in the Great Plains of the United States, the thunder was like it could have struck you, uh, it could have struck the, the truck, you know. So we're going up this, the coast at the moment. We're going up a pass, which is around 200 meters. And uh, it's really beautiful. I'm in a forest at the moment. I don't know what the call this other than a forest. It feels very much like a rainforest. Tons of gum trees everywhere. It's about 80k for the day. My foot's feeling a bit bad, so I might take one day off, we'll see. Looks like there might be a vista point coming up. Oh, there is! Oh, that's surprising. Yeah. Beautiful. They got like little yellow see if I can zoom in. No? Oh well. There's loads of them everywhere. Anyway, this is Antoine from France. And actually we uh, live not far from one another, which is kind of weird. There's just the, the English channel between uh, um, us. So he lives near Calais 
and I and I uh, obviously live in Suffolk, so I used to. Now we're heading down to the beach. Which way is the beach? Uh, near, near uh, just after that, just uh, maybe 200 meters. 200 meters? Between... Okay. So yeah, it's, it's just a rest day today. I was fixing uh, one of the gears on my bike. I couldn't change it to the large ring, so I got that working now, hopefully. It's so beautiful right now. Dang. Look at that. That is stunning. So glad I came out today. Cold? Well, it was, I think I could go, but yeah? it's may, maybe one minute to go, but I think I could. There he goes, bravely in the water. That's Australia coastline. It's that and that for thousands and thousands of kilometers. It's insane. You gotta run at some point. <laughs> They're all just kind of crowding around you. They don't fly, <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is the 8th of June 2018 yes I took a rest day so I am planning to try and take this road which is currently closed um, hopefully I can get through I'll let you know how it gets on if not I gotta go all the way around there's the coast they're adding this uh, pedestrian track. You see that? It's quite nice. So right now I'm on the sea bridge, which is beautiful. It kind of looks like the Mediterranean coastline. And I got a very strong tailwind at the moment. I'm currently not in the pedestrian way though. It's really beautiful. It's quite early this morning. It's about 30. It's beautiful. And for extra measure, I have my ski socks on. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's not that badass. So, I'm currently at a lake, just here, and it's basically the last piece of sea level that I'm going to see probably for a while. So I'm just kind of savoring it a little bit. Bike here and I got a higher stem like I was saying and um, the bags is a bit better. Right now I'm climbing up the Makuri Pass. It's really really narrow. There's a really hard drop off and it's very narrow. There's no verge at all. I've just stopped on some dirt so you try and like pile up cars behind you and then you try and take a break so i'm pretty much at the summit now 750 meters look at that town 1940 So this is called the Southern Highlands, apparently. And it, it looks like Europe, to be honest. I just arrived at my next address. I don't know if I want to show houses off in videos, but once I've hanged out with them, I'm sure they don't mind. I'll use it for footage. Currently at Frank's place. Here's Frank. And we're uh, checking out the campaign. For uh, the World Bicycle Relief. And he's already donating I've to got, it. I've got to give him a donation. It's for a good cause. So. It's really cool. Yeah. Definitely check out the link, guys. Um, I know this video will be out like ages from now, but. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. And Doris is over there uh, around the corner. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm heading out again. Today is June the 9th, I think. June the 9th. Um, 
Panda over at Robertson, leaving this guy's place. Um, it's a really cute little town. I wish every place that I stay at was as beautiful as Frank's place. Honestly, it was another one of those places where it's better than a hotel, honestly. It's so beautiful. Um, and he did all the work himself for 35 years in that house and and Doris was a really good cook that, e that evening. Um, so, if you ever see this, Frank, I'm very grateful and thank you for your donation to the World Bicycle Relief Campaign. So, it's a little bit of a detour, but it's just so beautiful out here. It looks like, uh, like Europe. The difference is obviously the gum trees are everywhere. And, um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm going this way. I hope it goes okay. I don't know why I took this road instead of the main road. I really don't know why I did that, but it's really nice anyway, so, you know, it's not that bad. Anyway, um, oh, the sun's trying to come out. That'd be nice. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, right now, because it's winter in Australia, you just don't need to carry that much water. It's crazy. I don't know why the hell I'm carrying all these bottles right now. I mean, I should probably drain, like, two of them and not use them for a bit. Because, well, I, actually, I'm going to camp overnight, maybe tonight, so maybe I'll have it. But, yeah, this might be a camping night tonight. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea what's going to happen this evening. I just decided to go with it and see how it goes today. If I saw the wallaby, or something, it definitely had two legs or a black figure. So, are they aggressive? The mud's quite cambered, so in the center it's a bit higher and it slopes down to the edge. But um, it's okay. I got a nice shot back there on my other camera. We'll see. So, we're having a slight problem. Um, there isn't really anywhere for me to stay unless I ride into the dark. Um, on the bright side, it's very bright. And beautiful and sunny beautiful evening anyway it's beautiful so that's what's nice and I just saw a bunch of kangaroos so hopefully you can see the name of that Terramines 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 Hotel um, it's a little bar in Maralua I think is the name of it I might have said that all wrong Maralula something I did not want to camp this evening, I really did not want to. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Today is the 10th of June, 2018. It's very foggy this morning, so I'm wondering if I should put my lights on. I'm gonna hop on the freeway, which I was on it yesterday, but not for very long. And uh, we're gonna head to Warm Shower Host. This is a little cafe here in Marulan General Store here. It's a nice little place, I like it. And I'm just filling up some muesli bars and whatnot, so yeah, it's all good. We're on the Hume Highway, heading uh, west. It's a pretty major highway. I'll try and capture a picture of the, the signs because it's quite funny. It says like, Melbourne, 700 kilometers. And it's like the only scenic attraction along most of the roads here is the signs. Excuse my language. But I just find it quite funny. Like, oh, there's a lookout point 10 kilometers from here. Oh, okay, that's not too far. 
you know. Anyway. I've always commented on Australia a lot of the time. And now I'm actually here. It feels amazing. It's just beautiful today. You know, it's interesting, along with all my cautions and the kind of fears, I, I also remember why I like doing this. I know I'm like on a big busy highway and you think, why the f would you like this? It's just noise and people driving by you super fast, super, super fast speeds. Um, I, I see the beauty in it for myself, like the fact of how endless this this road is. I mean, think about it, how this piece of metal here and here was all drilled in by somebody and how all of that was laid out by someone. That This road was built by, by man and I like, I like thinking about that. And I, I, there's so many people using it now. It's kind of a marvel of our civilization, isn't it? There's a bunch of reasons why I like doing this, really. Anyway, it's nice and sunny. So I'm taking this dirt road to Emma's place and Stuart's place. Oh, okay, it's not dirt yet, obviously. But it will be, soon. I'm a little nervous because it says 16%. And I have been up at 20 when I was in Sydney. But that was without all my gear. Yep, dogs. I knew it. It's okay. It's okay. Emma and Stuart are hosting me for this evening. And there's a chicken sitting on her lap in the living room. Brian Rose. Just can't really wrap my head around. <laughs> hey, little guy. Go. She, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of chickens. <laughs> This is all of them? Um, most of them. There's a few that won't come down from the shop house, but most of them, yeah. But I've trained them, they come to my core, and I'll eat out of my hand. There's a rainbow. There's a rainbow this morning! That's a great start to the day, I think. Um, it's kind of cold. So this morning, I'm heading towards Gunning. And then, uh, after that, towards Yes, which is pronounced Yes, but it's actually spelled Yas, like Y-A-S-S. -S. And, um, I will be going on the Hume Highway again. Ooh, this is gonna get bumpy. But yeah, they're, they're a really sweet couple. Um, they've they've only been able to host once in the last two years in Australia because they were t in a remote place before. And um, I mean, I, they they wanted me to. It was quite clear that they would like me to stay longer. But problem is, I I could do that everywhere. <laughs> you know, I could probably spend a week everywhere because everyone's so nice and. Um, and to me, I try to stay for an extra night um, because that way you get to know someone. Because one night actually is way too short from what I've discovered. So hey guys, I'm on a seriously quiet road to Wee Jasper is the name of the town, village. It's not even a town, it's not even a village. Um, but you are in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's, there's no one around. Here comes another car. I've been standing here for like a minute and there's only been well, nothing passing until now. He's on the other side of the road right now. So, Australians drive reasonably fast and it's the same as New Zealand, if anyone's interested. And we're almost at Wee Jasper, it's just 10 more kilometers. Um, I gotta say, it's really weird how quiet it is. It's literally just me.
and the birds and the sheep. I mean, that's maybe a few kangaroos, and that's about it. So, check this out. It's like it used to be some sort of gas station pit stop thing, and it's completely shut down or something. It was it w there was a general store here. Wow. It's a shame that they shut down. They just probably didn't get enough business. Currently at a campground place. Um, and I thought I'd show you um, some of the signs here. It looks kind of interesting. So the Hume uh, Highway, which I've just gone on, it's kind of in memory of the guy who first walked from Sydney to the Bass Strait. Something about walking quite a long bloody way. Um, so that's why the highway is called the Hume Highway in some ways. So I'm at this campground like I said and uh, pitching up the tent and there's the bike. So I've got a slight problem this evening. And that is that it's going to get down to minus two or five. Um, if I had a sleeping mat, this would be fine. I don't have one at the moment because I cheaped out on one. Um, so I'm not sure how well this night's going to go, but it is a, it's actually a test in some ways. I just woke up. Good morning, everybody. I slept okay, actually. It wasn't cold. It was just wet, actually. It was the opposite. It was kind of more wet. Um, I would have preferred it to be more dry, cold, actually, instead of so wet, because now everything is so wet. <laughs> June the... What day is it today, actually? I think it's the 13th. Um, it's apparently a Wednesday. I might be wrong, I don't know. Um, so I've just started climbing on this uh, 55k of dirt road. It's great! Actually, so far it's okay. I just know this whole day is going to be pretty slow. Oh, there's a wallaby! You see that? I wish I could describe to you how little amount of people there are out here. There's just this. I timed it so I left it to climb at about nine, and then I was just getting to the top, and then one car passed me. I look at my the clock. It says eleven. In two hours, not a single car passed me. That's just that's just insane. Um, this is called the mountains, the snowy mountains for a reason. I'm just on the border of the national park out here, so that's Canberra. And then we got the um, town I'm heading to, Tamut. I didn't realize how sparsely populated these areas would be. It's so crazy. guess where I am? It's not very obvious, is it? I'm still in Australia! <laughs> Look at this! It's really weird. Just an endless forest. Ah, oh, it's probably not endless. But still, I mean, you do get the logging trucks come down this road, which is understandable, but my god, there's hardly any traffic, you know? place on my list of places. That didn't really make any sense. Um, 
I'm not going to show you the house just because I haven't really asked her about filming yet. Um, but Belle, which is her name, she's currently at work in town, which is about 10 kilometers from here. Because uh, I don't know what to do. I was talking to my dad, but then the signal cut out. Anyway, that's it for now. That's the end of today. That's the 13th of June, pretty much. It's very lonely. It's really weird. I mean, yes, she comes back in the evening, and yes, we're, I'm going out, but, um, there's just no one around. It's, it's really weird, and, um, I can't believe I'm, I'm already feeling this in 500k into the trip, which is very strange. I, I thought it would take, you know, another 2,000 kilometers before I start to feel lonely. I feel like if I just wait a couple days, take a couple days off, the weather will improve for the next entire week, is what it says. I think it's crossed. The weather's more predictable in Australia rather than um, New Zealand, because they know exactly where it's coming from, pretty much. It's coming from the west, always. This footage isn't really that important. Oh. So you just kind of get in it, as you would, in any old chair. Oh, it's already comfortable. And you switch it on. And then it measures your si system. Ow! <laughs> so it senses how big your muscles are in the white jazz. And how far your back is and stuff like that. It's really weird. And that is the massage chair. For I don't know how much it costs, it's crazy. So here's the town of Tumut pretty small, not much happening. We're going to Woolworth, which is closed in the UK, which is really weird. So here I am at the dentist. Here's my host, the Belle. dentist got like shoes on with pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got a free checkup on my teeth. And are they alright? Uh, we're getting... in a bit first world here. Thought, okay. thought we had third world problems. No, oh, we okay. have some white wine around here. Well, that's good. And we're off to go for a bike ride soon. At night, on a tandem bike, because why not? Um, and yeah, I'll try and vlog it. Here's a night ride, everybody. Okay. Were we stopping? Okay. Right. We've spent the last 15 years in Alice Springs. Oh, wow, okay. Out there in the middle. Yeah, in the middle, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing out there. It's bad. <laughs> oh, Why? Feel less don't like you. <laughs> And I just thought I'd show you the bikes in case I forgot. So she's got loads of mountain bikes lying around. Quite a few road bikes as well. Um, and just random junk kind of bikes or city bikes. So the whole thing bends like that. I, I, I have no idea what the actual point is. <laughs> it looks so weird. It's so that you can ride on the curb and then not ride on the curb, if that makes any sense. I'm a bit nervous to ride it on my own because she helped me this morning, but I will give it a go for you guys. Right. This is a rather tall bike. It's really strange. Very strange to ride. Got to drive a car yesterday, which was really fun. Didn't have any footage because it was at night. And it was all on, you know, dirt roads, so we weren't on any public roads. We'll say. Check out this waterfall! The largest one I've ever seen. So here we are in Kosciuszko National Park. Looking at this waterfall, it's really pretty. 
The mist makes it even more atmospheric. This little bridge here. So we're just about to head out, but look at this. It is snowing right now. That's not rain, that is snow. I haven't seen the snow in like many, many, many months, which is really weird and it's stunning. It's amazing. Hey guys, good morning. It is June the 17th today. Um, as you can probably tell, I've spent a couple days, or a few, should I say, a few days, at Bell's place. A uh, really nice person, uh, super energetic and positive about things. Wow, it's cold today. Um, so, we went up to Battler yesterday, and we walked around this uh, amazing uh, um, cascade waterfall, like probably, probably the longest waterfall I've ever seen. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today because I, I just felt like I had to get moving. It sounds a bit crazy, but I don't know. I just, every day, she doesn't have any internet at her place and it feels very strange to have to find like other things to do, like go into town. And it's just weird because I'm not from her, her era, you know. She's lived a very different life, doesn't have a phone and stuff like that. So here I am in the town of Batlow. Um, still raining, slash sleet. And I've still got to climb. It's getting pretty cold, but I'm doing it. kind of crazy, I came here yesterday, um, and I thought to myself, you know what, why not come here again, but with my bike this time, which is a little bit crazy, I have to admit, because there's going to be snow on the top of the pass, but I think as long as I'm moving uphill, it's okay, the problem is going to be downhill, downhill's going to be a big problem. Snow! I'm in the snowy mountains. Ha! It's freezing! Woo! Uphill, it's not so bad. I'm really worried about downhill because it's going to be ice and down, but whatever. It is snowing right now. I'm in Australia heading up to a pass about a thousand meters high and it's snowing. Excuse my language. Look at this. I got snow everywhere. Look at that! And then look at this. Yeah, baby. cold mate but it's bloody beautiful isn't it it's bloody beautiful honestly Woo! I hope this is worth it god it's cold Slippery when frosty. Really? Huh. Never would have guessed that.
5 in the morning. It is June the 18th, I think. And plan is to head towards Albury. Um, but we'll see how it goes today. Um, I'm pretty much ready to go. Because I really do need to be. Um, it's going to be kind of a long way. Um, I'm waiting for the sun to come up. I really don't want to ride when it's cold and, and at night. So yeah. Anyway, I'm waiting for a little bit more light outside. Come on, give me some more light. Oh yeah, and it's the tab. I think it's called the tab here at the pub. Not the other one, because this one's cheaper. Um, oh yeah, and there are cabins at the campground, but I instead decided to come here. Um, so yeah, it's going well, and I'll see you when we're on the road. Good morning everybody, it is about 7.40 right now, I've just left Tumit at 7.35, and now we're heading out of town. So there's actually quite a few trucks on this narrow road, which is kind of annoying, but it's, oh, there's not that many. Right now there's not. Um, I'm waiting for the fog to clear. As you can see there it's cleared but behind me and front it's still there. I have to put my tracksuits back on, it's too cold this morning. It's the bike. You can check out some of the trucks which pass me. They're nice and big. Colson Creek, everybody. Beautiful. It's becoming a rather stunning day with blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. Can't sing the rest because I might get copyrighted. I was thinking, though, I can sing Christmas carols. You can't get copyrighted for singing Christmas carols, can you? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let you probably can't hear me because it's so windy. It's not windy at all. Lovely, beautiful morning. Look at it. Beautiful. A soul of you. A I can't sing any of these songs. I'll get copyrighted. It's really annoying. Oh boy. Look at all these vineyards. Beautiful. Right guys, here's the plan. Plan is we're gonna ride over a bridge, apparently. And then on Instagram, um, I'm just looking at the photos and thinking to myself, it's actually quite funny. The sign saying reduce speed on the ice, and then there's a, uh, with my bike, and I, it just. I don't know. It's great. I know it seems like it was cold and horrible, and not many people would want to do it, but I really enjoyed myself on that day. I just loved it, and today I love it. I mean, it's a little cold, but like, I've ridden in cold weather before. All you do is you just put more layers on. So I just crossed the Murray River, which is just down there. And then this is Victoria. My next state. <laughs> and then the sign for New South Wales is over there, because that's New South Wales. Doesn't look any different. <laughs> it's very quiet here. So I'm not even at the beginning of the Murray River, and that river goes all the way down to almost Adelaide. That's an insanely long river. I suppose I'm going to find out.